how to plan a photo of the Milky Way with the moon above the horizon. Hello, Photopilot Raphael, the bar here. I know that everybody is suggesting you to photograph the Milky Way when the moon is below the horizon. But in my opinion, having the moon above the horizon is not necessarily a bad thing. Actually, it can be a really good thing. Above all, when you're photographing a vast landscape with the Milky Way and you wish to capture detail on the landscape and on the Milky Way. Then, the light reflected by the moon will come in handy. So, in this video, I want to show you how you can easily plan your Milky Way photos to have the moon above the horizon with the right face and the right position in the sky to help you correctly expose both the foreground and the Milky Way in one single photo, in one single exposure. Are you ready? Let's do it! Okay, go to Photo Pills and tap on Planner. And now the first thing you need to do is to switch on the Milky Way layer and switch off the Sun layer here. Tap on the Map Settings button and switch off the Sun layer by tapping on the eye next to the uh, Sun layer and switch on the Milky Way, Milky Way layer and go back to the map. Now I have the Milky Way information and the Moon information above uh, on the map. So I can start planning my shot. Next step is to set the next new moon date. So double tap on the time bar to set the, the day to today and now and then go to the second Milky Way panel and tap on the icon of the Milky Way on the panel so time jump, jumps to the next uh, new moon which is on March 10th 2024. And now what I'll do is I'll plan my Milky Way shot with no moon. For example, yeah, in March it's great to photograph a panorama of the Milky Way above uh, the lighthouse of Havaric. So now at 4 11 a.m. the Milky Way is at the position I want, arching above the landscape and then I'll just go to Favarich and do a long press on the map to place the red pin on a possible shooting spot for example, let's do it from here good, oops, ah. <laughs> let's do it from here go from this shooting spot, I can photograph on March 11th at 4 a.m. Uh, the Milky Way arching above the lighthouse. And if, and, and if I tap on the night AR, I can visualize the shot here. So I have the horizon and I have the Milky Way arching above the horizon with the galactic center. And the lighthouse should be right there. Of course, it's better to use the AR views on location. Okay, on March 11th, it's around new moon, so the moon is below the horizon and with a really tiny face. So to start planning my shot of the Milky Way with the moon above the horizon, all I have to do is to swipe the time bar until I get the date the moon is gonna be in the position I want. And in this case, I want the moon to be low in the sky, so about to set or about to rise, and provide a light from the side on the foreground. So it allows me to capture nice volume and textures on the foreground. Okay, let's do it. I'll uh, swipe fast a little bit to jump, move the time fast. So for example, okay, on March 16, the moon is still below the horizon at the time of the shooting. So I'll move a bit uh, into the future. Uh, I think on March 20, on March 20, I have, okay, I have the Milky Way in the position I want and I have the moon here about to set. And this is what I want. I want the moon to be low in the sky, provide a light from the side at the time of the shooting, which is on March 20th. It's 4.23 a.m. more or less. And what's the moon phase? Well, you find the moon phase on panel number four. Here you have the picture of the moon. You see that the picture of the moon, the moon phase is pretty, is pretty large. But because the moon is about to set, then, well, moonlight is not that powerful. Having said that, I think I'm gonna check um, April, May and June too, to check if we can get a smaller moon phase. So I'll repeat the same thing. I'll just swipe the time bar until I get to April. And in April, well, you see that when the moon is above the horizon here, uh, no, here, no, let's go here. And yeah, as you see, for example, on April 15th, the moon is above the horizon and the phase is uh, uh, much uh, smaller. I think I like it uh, better on uh, April 15th. Oh, of course, you can also do it on April 14th for sure. Well, on April 14th, the moon is really uh, too low. So April 15th, I think is gonna be a good date. And also April 
16th could be another, another very good date again the moon is about to uh, set and you have the Milky Way arching above the lighthouse let's check on May and to go faster I'll give you a tip if you tap on the picture of the moon on the top panel time jumps to the next important moon phase I don't want the full moon I'm just gonna start maybe in uh, the new moon here in May the 8th uh, maybe not the new moon. Let's start on the first quarter here. Okay, first quarter. Let's check the um, Milky Way shot on the first quarter. Okay, I think I can go even before. Let's check on May 8th. May 8th, the moon is below the horizon. And on May 9th, it's below the horizon. And on May... Uh, I think on May 13th. On May 13th, I'm getting the shot I want. The Milky Way arching again above the lighthouse. And the moon is about to set, and the moon phase is even smaller. And I'm sure in, in June I can get a, even a smaller moon phase. Well, in this case, in uh, May 13th, the moon phase is 26%, which is pretty cool. I think it's a, a great moon phase to have the moon above the horizon. And if you uh, noticed, the moon is slightly uh, north, so it's even providing a better light direction than in March. Don't check. Let's check on June. So let's do the June, the new moon in June, and I start finding the shot. Pretty cool. In June, you can even get the, the smaller moon phase. For example, on June the 9th, I have a 12% moon phase. Pretty cool. And this is what you want. You want to have your Milky Way right on the position you want in the sky compared uh, with your subject, and then you want to have a moon with a phase uh, ideally of less of 50% providing light from the side. And as you see, it's super easy to find the exact date and time these Milky Way shots with the moon occur. So give it a try. Now we to learn more about Milky Way photography, we to learn more about planning the Milky Way and photographing the Milky Way, I invite you to download and study well our super detailed Milky Way photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye!